Hi guys, I hope you all are doing fine and here I am again talking about the WBCSC answer key, provisional answer key I must say and it is totally flawed as you have already uh, noticed the people who had Y and Z series question papers both for general paper and paper 2, I am talking about English here, you know that it's totally flawed. The questions of Y and Z series are not matching with X series okay if if people with Y and Z series uh, question paper are checked with the with reference to the jumbled ordered key we all are going to fail people who have um, attempted the Y and Z series question papers they all are going to fail if they check our answers with reference to the jumbled order answer key that they have released remember that therefore please do utilize the opportunity that they have given us okay please mail them do not forget to mail them regarding the same first mention about the jumbled order key then any other feedback that you might have you can mention them but first in the mail first mention that the jumbled ordered answer key is totally erroneous totally flawed okay remember to mention that in your mail first thing you mail them mail them as much as you can send them multiple mails send them mails from other email ids also it's not necessary that you must be a candidate if your teacher or any other your senior your junior whoever is concerned uh, with this thing with this grave mistake that they have made okay just let them know okay as many mails as you can all right just let them know about the thing that they have done it's our future it's our future we cannot let them play with our future okay we uh, work hard now we can sit for like one exam in one and a half year okay and now they do this therefore you you have not mailed them yet this is high time you do this is high time you do okay and now coming to um, paper two flaws first of all the effective filter and effective filter okay i have attached the source the reference the essay of stephen crescent uh, in the description box and in the comment section also do check that do attach that with your with your uh, feedback okay it is not effective filter it's effective filter and context is not the answer the answer should either be self-confidence or motivation so attach the document that i'm providing as your reference you can attach the document as your reference number two baudrillard's hyper reality all the four options are correct all the four options are only the four states of uh, hyper reality it bears no real uh, first it is a basic reflection of a reflection of basic reality then it is they mask the uh, reality they masks the it, it masks the absence of reality and then it bears no relation to reality all the four options are correct and they have given us only option a as the right answer which is not i have also provided you with the reference in the in comment section and the uh, and, and in the description box also please check that out use that as your reference of your feedback then otherwise you can use your own feedback about any other question that if you have an issue with like the uh, uh, iliad in canto uh, last canto of iliad who convinced achilles i think it will be priam it thetis and priam both are correct answers uh, then if you have any regard any confusion regarding the passage and the poem paradoxes and oxymoron you can you can let them know about the same then coming to uh, paper one i think paper one the sound pollution one uh, you if you have any doubt regarding that let them know because 70 to 75 decibel is also the feasible answer while 80 to 100 decibel is also a scientific scientifically feasible answer so um, i don't know i mean you can raise your concern if you have uh, any doubt regarding that then coming uh, to clear uh, you two doubts first re research methodology it's correct whatever the cc has given us it's correct it's a paradigm 
it's a pattern of not only it's not only just a way to analyze and collect data okay it's not that the option d is the correct answer which is provided by csc okay it's correct you have to always remember always substantiate your answer with proper reference do not just copy from wikipedia do not just give you know uh, wherever you have found the data you are just say, attaching the picture of it do not do that just attach a proper reference proper authentic reference to that okay uh, substantiate your answer your argument with proper logic do not just argue for argument's sake okay that's highly unprofessional and stupid okay do not do that and last of all please please mail them keep mailing them keep mailing them let them know about the jumbling order mistake at first after that you can mention about the other concerns that you have okay remember you are a student you are a hard worker and you are given this opportunity you have this right to do that so do it and i wish all the best for all of you